Many in the community were introduced to Rick Goff as the father of Denise Lee, the 21-year-old Northport mother of two killed in a murder that led to a trial and a conviction this year for Michael King. But we didn't know much more about Charlotte County Sergeant Goff's life outside of that tragedy until now. Today, SNN Local News 6 got exclusive access to spend the day with Rick Goff and his warrant squad. SNN Local News 6 reporter Howie Grace takes us along. The day starts at sunrise. A squad of three elite detectives. Jeff's the bulldog. He never stops. Brad's a digger. He's got a major crimes background. Ralph's my go-to guy that'll do anything I ask him to do anytime. Are here to meet with their supervisor, Rick Goff, and make plans for the day. We make an arrest on drugs or resisting or something. We'll have to pull them. Their job is a simple one at first glance. We go find people that uh, basically do not want to be found. This is the Charlotte County Warrant Squad, and this team of four spend every day searching for fugitives from justice. Yeah, we do a lot. We uh, usually average like 1,200 a year arrest. Today, we rode along as they began their search for criminals. Uh. At our first stop, the detectives canvass the suspect's residence. But after 10 minutes of searching, they are forced to move on. Basically, it's a cat and mouse game, and you always try to stay, you know, they try to stay one step ahead of you. The warrant squad moves on to a second suspect's home, and it looks like this time someone is home. But it turns out that this suspect was not here either. The most challenging thing for me is finding these people that uh, you know have been hiding or avoiding um, arrest on these various warrants. A quick check with Crime Stoppers leads them to a third residence where the team finds the man they're looking for. The people we're arresting are return customers I would say and we usually know who they hang with and where they hang out and their habits. So the cops get their man and the fugitive gets whisked into custody. As for Rick, I've been 26 and a half years with the Charlotte County, with the Sheriff's Office. Um, I have no desire to quit. That's, I love my job and I'm gonna continue working. And when they get their guy, you guessed it, do not pass go, do not collect $200. At the Charlotte County Jail, I'm Howie Grace, SNN, Local News 6. Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Cameron formed the Fugitive Warrant Squad more than four years ago, and since then, the squad has been responsible for arresting thousands of fugitives from justice.